Wait here. Johnny! Johnny, wait! here we went to villanova together oh, yeah we smoked the lines right off the court hey, hey did we <laughs> oh glow i'm glow it's all my fault fine it's okay the jinx has left the court and we get the feel of crustaceans next small appliances uh well we ought to get some water on that spot uh, there um guys can you excuse us for a minute thanks oh, it's okay it's fine yeah, nice pool toys. Why don't you stand and watch? This could be dangerous, Glow. Finding a sheet of paper? It could be dangerous, Glow. You know, poison ink, paper cuts. Look, stop arguing. I'm the brains of this outfit. I know what I'm doing. Being in a glass, that sucks. Looks kind of locked. Glow. Stay sharp. Please. I am not starting sticky tomorrow. He's been so bad, I may not play him at all. You're the best players money can buy, and you keep playing the rookies, and I'm getting tired of you, Sonny. Okay. You're the owner. But I am the coach, and I will play whoever I see fit. So, how old are you? Eighteen. Say, baby, hey, did your old man ever beat that murder rap, or are they still running those tests on him? It's giving off a lot of juice. Here comes Buxton. I wonder what he and the coach were talking about. The Avery Jinx. If I were you, I'd get my friends and get as far away from me as possible. No, fly. It wasn't you. Come on, not be able to save behind the picture trick. It could just be a fuse box. Oh, yeah. Oh, how corny can you get? All right, look, no meltdowns, B-Man, okay? Just be gentle. It's Johnny Mathis of Safe Kraken. Nice. Find out anything from the players? Oh yeah, one of them has a Learjet, another has a house on Maui. I talked to Buxton too. He says as soon as he dries off, he wants to talk contract. Hmm? Look, there's a spreadsheet from Las Vegas. Basketball. I guess what's circled in red? Wait, I'm feeling lucky. Bulls games. Now you peek, and there's a list of cities here: Cincinnati, Baltimore, Milwaukee. And each one has twenty thousand dollars written next to it. Bookies. Well, something's fishy. Yeah, smell this. Haze. This is Buxton's book. Yeah. The withdrawal of four hundred thousand dollars yesterday. That'd be enough to fill a small canvas bag, huh? Mm -hmm. Look at some of these back entries. Large withdrawals and a few days later, huge deposits. Someone's been very, very busy. Wait a minute. I know these days. These are Wolves' losses. I know, I'd bet to win. But what if you didn't? What if you bet to lose? That he'd be making huge deposits. That would mean that Buxton would have to be betting against his own team. Well, wouldn't he need the cooperation of some of the players for that? Yeah. He yeah, sure would. Let's get out of here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He can't just walk out with his books. There's a party going on. Right, okay, well, we'll come back. 
No, I don't get it. I mean, there's big stars throwing games. Why? What's in it for them? Larger contracts. Buxton pays his players more than anyone. Now we know how he can afford it. Hiya, boys. Ready to do a little dealing? Well, not out for a stroll, Mr. Buxton. Nobody's heard of you, Al. He can hit from anywhere in the court. And nobody sure as hell's heard of you, mister. But I'm prepared to be generous. 200,000. More than twice what we pay our rookies. Mr. Buxton, that's not a fifth of what you pay Buzz Jones. Is that what you want, what Buzz gets? I don't expect that, but I do expect more than 200. 500. A million. How do you think I can come up with that? My payroll's bloated enough as it is. Mr. Buxton, I don't know. I guess uh, the same way you always do. By betting against your own team. Hey, 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 listen. This isn't blackmail. I mean, we like the way you deal. That's why we came here. Wait, you don't think you're the only one that knows about Einstein, do you? When we have offers from the Comets, the Mustangs, you name the team. But nobody pays your prices. How could they? Unless you threw a game now and then, huh? And I'll hold up my end of the deal. I'll play a little under my game whenever you ask me to, if it means an extra 500000 Just like the other starters. Right? Right. Deal? Deal. One more question, Hank. This thing with Fly and the Jinx, uh, did you set that up to take the fall for you guys? That was just a fortunate misunderstanding the fans made. The way we work that is this. A couple of the starters foul out first. Naturally, the Fly's put in. He's a damn good player. And the players still in the game play badly. So it just started to seem as if it was the Fly's fault. I mean, the fans have to blame someone when their team loses. Bad break for the fly, huh? Now, you two aren't going to get all soft ordered about the fly, are you? Not for a million bucks, we're not. I like what you've done with the place, Hank. Tell me that Elvin has a twin brother named Einstein. Yeah, hey, he has a twin brother named Einstein. Ah, Fly is still not home. No, he doesn't. I checked the records. Are there any messages? Maybe I don't have to play tonight. Tell me this isn't you. It's not me. It can't be some Pisces. Explore new facets of your personality today. That knack of creative doodling no. turns into a genuine artistic player. Oh, listen to this. Romantic liaisons are laced with intrigue. She has Odella's messages of the Zodiac? Well, she's very accurate. What are uh, these little X's and O's? No, no, phone messages. Oh, except... Ah, oh, where is he? Hey, you relax. Hey, fasten this, play fasten this like Einstein. Look, I just wish we could get in touch with him. I'd like to let him know what's going on. We will. We'll see him before the game tonight. The game? Oh, I suppose you're going to tell me that these little X's are protons. That's right. Hi, guys. Oh, hey, great glow. Just some time to go over to tonight's place. Come on. Uh, sorry, Billy, but I'm going to need glow. What? Look, can we kill the fountains, guys? All right, guys, kill the fountains. Richard, I'm... Look, if you want me to get the books, I'm going to need some help. Oh, no. No, please, no. Well, hey, they got it. We, we need proof. I mean, how? it's just Buxton's word against ours. I mean, they got to go back up to the mansion. We're expected at the arena. And, uh... <laughs> Who is expecting you at the arena? Einstein. I mean, you wouldn't want Elder Mrs. Brother's first game, would you? <laughs> I am glad you came to me and we could work this out. And I always thought you were a fine player. But I must say I am a little surprised. I never thought you the monetary type fly. Well, life is full of surprises, Mr. Buxton. Yeah. Yo, you know what your problem is? 